Hello everyone and welcome back to another a Masi chess game. Another a Masi chess game by Jose Raul Capablanca from a chess simul and this was a 33 board chess simul from 1924 in Brooklyn Chess Club, New York. So his opponent is Erling Tolsen who was three times the chess champion of the Marshall Chess Club. Uh, being the chess champion of Marshall Chess Club was almost being the chess champion of the United States uh, because there was not enough chess tournaments around that time. So the last time when Erling Tolsen won the, world, uh, won the uh, Marshall Chess Club chess championship, it was 1931 and then he stopped playing chess. He was one of the leading chess players in the United States. He stopped playing chess because of the Great Depression, because of the serious economical crisis uh, in his era. The Great Depression uh, was the era between 1929 and 1939. In, uh, in that time period, there was serious economical financial crisis in the world. So because of financial problems, he stopped playing chess. Uh, he also represented the United States in the chess olympiads so he was born in 1904 and he died in 1996 so okay uh, let's see what happened in this chess game so this is from a chess simul as i said and one of capablanca's opponents was one of the leading chess players of the united states so capablanca starts the game with pushing the e-pawn e5 knight to f3 and we have the spanish game knight to f6 and capablanca castled d6 and then d4 uh, of course in this position if knight takes uh, on e4 then rook to e1 and so on so forth so d4 uh, d6 d4 by jose raul capablanca developing the bishop developing the knight and the bishop Capturing Capablanca is giving up the bishop, but now queen to d3, maybe d takes on e5 is a possibility, e takes on d4, knight takes on d4, bishop goes back defending and then developing the bishop, black castled, centralizing the rook, uh, both players are centralizing the rook, and then h6, Capablanca is retreating the bishop, and then knight to h7, Capablanca is exchanging the bishops, rook takes on e7 and then knight to d5. And that's a perfect spot for the knight. So defending the rook, rook goes back and then queen to g3 by Capablanca. Targeting the g-pawn and actually in this position black would like to push the pawn and kicking the knight back. But in this position black played knight to f6. Why not pushing the pawn, but then in this position knight goes back and targeting the weakness, so black has a weakness. So if stepping aside with the bishop, then knight goes back and how to defend the pawn. Only with this ugly looking move, and then knight to h4, and so on and so forth. So you can see that white is doing very well. Even if black pushes the pawn, knight to f5 is a possibility, and you can stop that. So in this position, this is why Capablanca played queen to g3, knight to f6, and then Capablanca is not exchanging the pieces this time. Capablanca knew exactly uh, when to exchange the pieces and, and when not to. So he was, uh, he knew exactly uh, when to simplify the game and when not, not to simplify the chess game. So Capablanca was the expert. Uh, about uh, why exchange and why not. Anyway, so rook to e7 and then Capablanca push the f-pawn. So he is basically planning to push to e-pawn, queen over and then e5 by Capablanca. Well, exchanging the pawns and this is attacking the knight, so defending the knight. Queen to e3 by Capablanca. Bishop to c6. Well, in this position, can you see any threat? Of course, knight to d5 is the threat by Capablanca. So knight to d5 is coming. 
bishop to c6 and then knight to f5 this time leaving on f5 so rook down and what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces well Capablanca push to g pawn and where is the knight going so it looks like this is trapping the knight so black goes to f6 knight to f6 by black so capturing the knight is not possible because if capturing the knight then rook takes queen is the idea so it looks like the e pawn is pinned so maybe capturing the knight is not possible at all well jose Raul Capablanca did capture the knight. An unexpected move by Capablanca. Unpredictable, unexpected moves by Jose Raul Capablanca. So black is exchanging. Black is capturing the queen. Rook takes on e3. The sacrifice is accepted. And black is defending the queen. By the way, this is one of the only spots for defending the queen. We see another Capablanca game. And another crazy looking queen sacrifice, unpredictable, unexpected moves by Jose Raul Capablanca. F takes on g7, defending the queen and pinning the rook. Rook up and then Capablanca is unpinning the rook. Uh, in this position, well, we can say that uh, if white can bring the knight on d5 or e4, that's basically game over. So let's say if knight to e4, how to stop knight to f6. Knight to f6 is going to be checkmate and there is no sensible defense after knight to e4. But thankfully, black's bishop is defending on this long diagonal, defending on d5 and e4. Uh, so can you see? What white can play here in this position? Uh, basically b4 and b5 is the idea. If b4, black has to defend the queen. Because this rook is also defending the knight. Uh, this rook is defended by the knight. So we can say that <coughs> uh, Capablanca's pieces are, uh, you know, the coordination between the pieces of Capablanca is perfect. Uh, well, in this position, black had to play a5. Maybe a5 should have been considered, but in this position, black played rook to e8, and this was a horrible move by black. This was a losing move. Can you see why this move was losing? Because of pressure, black was under huge pressure, and because of that, black cracked under the pressure and Capablanca captured the rook. Bishop takes on e8 and then knight to d5 and black resigned. Knight to f6 is coming and there is no sensible defense. Another queen sacrifice chess game by Capablanca in a chess simul. And this was also another Mikel Tal type chess game by Jose Raul Capablanca. Well, in this position, as I said, uh, maybe a5 should have been considered, but, but then a3 and then b4 is also a possibility. So we have rook to e8 because of pressure and then knight to d5 by Capablanca and black resigned. Let's check out the possible continuation. If some random move, then knight to f6 is checkmate. The only way to defend the checkmate threat is simply giving up the queen queen takes on d4 check knight takes on d4 king takes on g7 knight takes on c7 and this is all over for black another very nice fantastic chess game by jose raul capablanca so let's check out this position once again attacking the knight the only safe spot and capablanca captured the knight and sacrificing the queen the only defense for the queen who rook up, who rook over. Well, these moves, this move was just, it looks like black simply pressed the panic button. Black simply, you know, put the final nail in his own coffin. 
into his own coffin. So exchanging and night to d5 and black resigned because there is no sensible defense in this position for black. And thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.